Hello and welcome to my Christmas quilting series. I'm so excited to do this. This is my first ever quilt. No, it will not be perfect, but it's gonna be made with love and I'm really, really excited to get started. I'm actually using the Weave It Be pattern. I didn't actually buy that pattern because I can't find it anywhere. I just found a YouTube video on it. It's from the Midnight Quilting Show, but I think they don't upkeep the channel anymore. Um, so I just kind of got all this information from the YouTube video that she posted. And a lot of the measurements I had to like watch her video and make sure and count the ruler because she doesn't tell you specific measurements so but i am pretty confident that will be all right but the only difference is that i bought christmas collars i have this beautiful uh cranberries and cream jelly roll and i have a beautiful dark green so it's like green and red and white and i think it'll just be beautiful you can't go wrong with green and red and white since this is my first quilt I wanted to get some pre-cuts just to make it that much easier on me. So I went with these jelly rolls. As I said in an earlier video, I got these on sale. So I was really excited to start this journey. I feel like it can be a bit overwhelming when you have to do everything. So I thought this would be a good start. But this is the cranberries and cream jelly roll. And I just thought it was so timeless and classic and beautiful. I mean, look at that. So let's open her up and we have to start cutting. So I'm just gonna kind of open this up, 100% cotton. Ooh. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. So it's actually like a roll. Wow, this is a bit overwhelming. <laughs> What did I get myself into? These beautiful reds and whites. More of like a natural linen color. Beautiful, okay. Ooh, it's kind of dusty. I should shake this outside, holy smokes. I'll be right back, I'm gonna shake this. I'm so excited to get started. Ooh. Okay, so I'm gonna take some contrasting colors. So I'm gonna do probably like a red one and then a white one. So up here is where I'm putting all of them because I want each pattern to have its own. So I have everything laid out right here. I'm gonna start my cuts for all the different measurements that I need. And then we're gonna get started on our first square. So let's get started. Where's my rotary cutter? I found it. Gotta open it up. Gotta learn how to use one of these. I've never used it before. Ooh, okay. Go like that and then you just... The first one is going to be 10 inches long. First I'm going to clean up the end. So this first one is going to be 10 inches long. So I'm gonna to go to the 10, pop that there. Then we do this one, which is six and a half. And then I do four and a half, which is right there. Four and a half, and then two and a half. So these I'm gonna set aside and start doing the backing fabric. I'm gonna shake this outside really quick. So this one we're going to do a 10. So we're gonna go 10 inches right there. We're gonna do two and a half, which is right there. And then another two and a half. Two 
So these are the two colors that I am picking that are contrasting. And then we have to sew this with some background fabric. So I'm gonna put the background fabric right beside it. And then I'm gonna sew all of these together like this. Look at that perfect amount. Okay, so let's sew this together, making sure this is facing up. So I'm gonna go this way and sew this together. So that it is like this, and then we're gonna take this one, put it on this side, and sew it this way. Okay, like that. So I'm gonna do the same thing to this one. So this way. On this side. So this goes over here. Okay, we have these two fabrics. I'm gonna go ahead and iron these so they're nice and flat and we can cut them. So we have the red and the white. These are gonna be absolutely beautiful. So what we're gonna do with these is we're gonna cut them. So we're gonna cut these into two and a half inch sections. So let's go to there, go to that line. Okay, let's line it up a little better. There we go. Make sure I'm straight on there. Two and a half inch. Get the little cutter. Good to go. And I'm gonna do that for all of these. So we got four and four. Beautiful. We're gonna take all this fabric and we are gonna line it up. I'm gonna do this one here. And then I'm gonna do the white here. Um, you just wanna make sure that it is creating that pattern. So we're gonna put this here. We're gonna take a green block, put it here. Where's that one white one? Because we wanna make sure that white lines up white one goes here there we go okay now we want this one here nope we want this one here this one here then we want the red here okay because that needs to line up there okay now we want a couple of whites Actually, no, we want a couple of reds, don't we? Red, red, and where'd that white go? That white is somewhere. Here it is. And there is our little pattern that we do. So we have, you'll see the red goes going through here and here, the white here and here. Now I'm gonna show you how I'm piecing all of these together so that they lie together seamlessly and then whenever we put them together square to square it'll just give it this really cool weaving effect this blows my mind how you're able to do this like this is so cool that someone figured this out already i'm obsessed with this red and green and white pattern like this is already turning out so cool so what i'm going to do is start piecing these together i'm going to start with these two so I'm just doing it like this. This is one of the smallest pieces that you will have. And just don't think about it. Okay. Cut it off. Clean it up. And then you have that one right there. You can just fold this over, but I wanna iron that first, just so it goes easier. I'm gonna quickly do this, and then I'm gonna iron them all together. So if I do this one, I'm gonna lay that out. Wait, that's not right. That goes like that, because that white has to line up. Okay, let's quickly do this one here. Beautiful. this. 
beautiful. Let's iron these and get them looking pretty. Here's everything nice and ironed. You can already see the weave pattern starting to come out. See like this red, it goes under, pops up here, the white. Ooh, it just gets me so excited. So we're gonna go ahead and piece these together. So I'm just gonna do it like this. Fold this down, sew this together. Okay, let's go do this. I have a very old sewing machine. So if I can do it with this machine, so can you. So there is that one, and we're gonna do this one here. Okay, so this moment here is one of the more trickier parts. This one we wanna make sure that the seams um, flow together easily. So whenever we sew these two pieces on, we wanna make sure this seam lines up with this seam. And the way that we do that is we use these little pins that I have. I have cute little pink ones here. Hi, kitty. Can you guys hear kitty talking to all of us? So I'm gonna use a pin on each of the seam allowance. Kitty, where are you? Come here. I think it's because I'm talking. She doesn't really know what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm gonna pin that in place, making sure the two red lines line up. And when I get close to the needle, I'm gonna take that out because I have broken a needle before and I don't wanna do that again. Pull that out. Let's see how we did it. It looks pretty good. That's pretty lined up, good enough, I'd say. Look how good that looks. Okay, I'm very happy with this. Look at that. I think this is a good start. And then I'm gonna just do like this red and white pattern. I think it'll just really pop with the green in the background. Doesn't that look like Christmas in a quilt? I think this is gonna look good. Here's the first one all good and done. I have it ironed. The seams line up. They weave above this one. They go below here, above this one, below here. I say that is a good start. But this is definitely a good start that I have these two done. Literally, that's all I have for the day. I think this is a good stopping point for part one of this series. It's basically just getting these blocks out of the way. I'm gonna see how I can kind of weave them together more to make the reds. Cause see how all of them aren't fully red? It's just like a blend of red and white. So I need to find like an in-between before I sew these together. Does that make sense? but I guess we'll just see what it looks like whenever we're laying it all out, you know? Okay, come here. Let me just end this video. Anyway, thank you all so, so much for watching today's video. Um, please let me know any tips that you have down below. I would, it's really, really appreciated because this is my first time doing a quilt. Honestly, I've only sewn like a few dresses and hemmed a few stuff, so I am very new to sewing. I'm um, definitely a beginner, but thank you all so, so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye now. I just noticed I did one of my squares wrong <laughs> and it's not that bad. I can fix it easily, but let me show you. This is, it's kind of silly. It's easy to mess up, but I, I can fix it. Let me show you. See this one? So this one is correct. We look at this one. Hmm, something's off. I should have flipped this. <laughs> I was staring at these forever saying like, what is different? But this should be flipped. So I need to remove this seam here and then flip it and then sew it together. I thought it looked odd. I'm like, what is different here? But yeah, it needs to be flipped around. So I'm gonna flip that and hopefully it looks better. <laughs>
So I finally figured this one out. I don't know what I did. I don't want to talk about it.